Days after a deadly Long Island hit and run, a driver has turned himself in and relatives are now dealing with loss and heartbreak. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan met the victim's devastated parents during an arraignment for the driver who allegedly ran over their son. Tears and anguish for the family and friends of a beloved East Patchogue volunteer firefighter and EMT. 22 year old Christopher Lavati died Monday in a hit and run crash. His smile lit up every room. He, really really he was a gorgeous boy. Lavati had the right of way at this East Patchogue intersection, say prosecutors, when a 36 year old driver allegedly slammed into his motorcycle, ran over him, fled, and hid for four days. It's just an unimaginable loss. Um, I've, I've cried so much, I, I don't think I have any tears left. Maria Gualpa Bonilla turned herself in, say police, after detectives traced rare car parts left at the scene to her home, where the vehicle was covered in a tarp. She denied responsibility. Just having a little bit of closure, knowing that the person who did it is now going to have to deal with the repercussions. He's the love of my life. Kirsten Hurt was looking forward to a future with Christopher. She says he was just recently named Rookie of the Year by the Hagerman Fire Department. Even in death, he's giving to others, the Lavati family says. Several of his organs will be donated, including his heart, eyes, and skin. Giving and serving. There wasn't a better person. It's going to be a rough Father's Day. His family says they're proud to have been related to such a fine person and pray for justice in the courts. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.